Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius for March 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. Um, if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well if you feel as if um, you resonate with this reading. And we're going to see what exactly you're not expecting to happen here, okay? Keep in mind... Collective energy. If you want something more personal, my information to book a reading with me will be listed below. Definitely make sure you take advantage of that five question reading for 2222. If you're needing some answers to your questions and let's get into the reading. So starting off, we have suffering in silence. We have triumphant success, spiritual union, and we also have the awareness card. So, Sagittarius, what you're not expecting to happen during this time frame, with the Suffering and Silence card for a lot of you, there is going to be moments where there are certain things that bother you, but instead of you guys, like, coming out and possibly telling, you know, certain individuals who you may be having issues with that it may be bothering you or affecting you, or even situations that you may be in currently that just feel like it's a never-ending battle, you guys are really trying to stick through it. And what I will say is during this time frame, the best thing for you to do is actually let out your feelings, whether that's divulging how you feel to like a family member or just clearing out your aura is going to be very important because for a lot of you, yeah, with the suffering and silence card, you guys could be feeling some sort of way about a relationship that you're in, a job where you feel like, damn, I'm, I really don't want to be here, especially with all the craziness going on. You may be like, oh, my God, it's like a reworking of everything that you thought that you were OK with before. Um, also, with the triumphant success for a lot of you, there is going to be some sort of success that is going to come in. But this is going to be through you guys having some sort of new idea or some sort of new plan for yourself. So if you are somebody who has like some sort of new creative idea or just idea in general to generate money, this is going to definitely be beneficial to you in this time frame and beyond it. You also may have a chance to clear the air with someone who, like I said, you may have been suffering in silence in regards to. This is finally speaking your truth in regards to like where you want this connection to go. Or finally getting answers from this individual as well. Um, another thing, your spiritual union is going to be in question here. For some of you, there may be some things that may come out about your relationship that's going to be brought to your awareness. And with that, you're going to have to use your third eye and your crown chakra to help you make a decision on what you're going to do with this connection in the long term. For some of you also, you may have a partner come tell you how they truly feel as well. Interesting. Let's keep pulling more cards. You're going to have somebody come forward, um, whether this is somebody who you're currently in a relationship with or somebody who you feel a spiritual connection to. They're going to come to you and let you know how they truly feel. Sagittarius for March 14th, I mean, March 15th to the 31st. What are they not expecting to happen, my Sagittarius? Yeah, we have letter, we have the hope card, we have the Lord card, and we also have the love card in reverse. Well, that card fell on the floor. So with the letter card, like I said, there's going to be communication that's going to be exchanged here at some point. Let me get this card up. Okay, so like I said, there's going to be some sort of communication that is going to be extended with this communication. It's going to put a lot of questions into your mind all over again. Why did this situation go left? What's really the underlying issue? What exactly do I need to do with this? It's like a lot of questions are going to be surging in. Um, Another thing, definitely make sure you guys are staying or not even staying, make sure you guys are checking your mail and that you guys are 
actually making sure that you're not um, missing important documents or information or things like that. Um, Because there may be some important documentation that may come through the mail as well. But moving on from that, um, like I said, there's going to be communication. Now, with the hope card here, for a lot of you, you're going to realize that you've been possibly being a little too hopeful for a situation to the point where you were like damn near blinding yourself. Okay, whenever I see this card in this deck, it's like, Yes, you're hopeful, but it's to a point where you're blind to what faults are there. This could be an individual that you guys are so caught up in being so hopeful for the relationship going somewhere that to a, that to a fault, you're kind of being blind to your own circumstance or situation or what you need in a relationship. And that could breed an unhealthy connection if you guys aren't careful. So be careful of that. Um, also, like I said, you guys may be feeling like you're being controlled in a sense. This could be in a relationship, a job where it's like, okay, at a job, you may not want to work during this time frame, And you're like, oh my God, I'm being withheld or not even withheld. I'm being forced to have to go to work every single day, even though I don't want to during these times. Uh, this could be you feeling like you're being controlled by family members. They're making you you know, do things that they want you to do that you may not be in alignment with, whether that's going to school, like college, uh, whether that's like leaving a relationship they don't condone, things like that. Um, Another thing with love in reverse, for some of you, if you're single, this whole shutting yourself off thing is getting kind of, you know, lonely for for some of you during this time frame you guys are going to realize yeah even though I did get my heart broken if I keep shutting myself off I'm going to be lonely as hell okay so for some of you if you are taking this approach where it's like oh I don't need love I want to be alone I want to be shut off and all this other stuff okay (laughs) you guys are really going to start feeling that during the second half you're going to be like oh my god Um, Another thing as well, for some of you, you're not even really focused on love because you may be focused more on the gift that you may have and that you may be, you know, trying to find a way to make money from, whether that's singing, you being able to create jewelry, stuff like that. You're trying to get that in alignment. And I really feel like spirit is going to really boost any sort of business you may have. So if you are a business owner, this is a great time for you. It's just a matter of you, like I said, um, honing in on your gift and staying consistent in your efforts of making it better. Some of you also, you do need to make sure that if you are feeling under the weather that you are going to a physician um, and actually getting some sort of checkup and things of that nature. Now, let's pull some more cards. Sagittarius for March 15th through the 31st what are my Sagittarius not expecting to happen that may actually take place in regards to them March 15th through the 31st yeah five of cups nine of coins two of coins and the chariot um so you guys you may have a moment of like I said regretting For some of you being single and not having somebody to be close to at this moment. Others of you, this is you regretting some decisions you didn't make prior to this time frame that may have been very beneficial to you, whether that's like, you know, handling some some business work that you have and it's been piling up and it's been piling up. Uh, This could be regrets to not changing your job. And now, you know, that may be a conflict of interest, whatever these regrets are, this may also be you guys being stuck in the past. Like you may have moments where you're very nostalgic over a past situation that didn't work out. And you're like, well, why didn't that work out? Like I said, questions are going to come up. You guys are going to be like, well, how did I end up at this point to where I'm single and I don't have nobody? Or how did I get to this point to where my finances are fluctuating all over the place? And for a lot of you, once you do come up with that understanding, you guys are going to be able to move forward and get past this point so I don't really feel like there's going to be anything that unexpected that's going to affect you guys you guys are lucky as hell shit doesn't really ever happen to you guys like that like that 
But um, what I will say is make sure you stay away from confrontations with individuals who are very unstable in your life. One second they're here, one second they're not. Or they put you in third party situations and it conflicts you and it makes you want to stay. Um, even though there's issues with that, like I said, commitment or you guys just having that one on one connection without other people being attached in a sense as well. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for watching this. I hope that I was able to give you some sort of guidance or clarity. Um, if you want to get a personal session, make sure you book your five question reading for 2222. Information will be listed below. Thumbs this video up. Comment below. Let me know that you're a part of the Butterfly Squad. Ugh. Let me know that you guys are a part of the Butterfly Squad. And um, I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye, Sagittarius.